Now here is one reason you always want to get away from a stump. That uh, trees going down have a lot of energy. They're a dynamic thing when they're going down. And you see out there, I've got a catalpa and there's a red maple in there too. They were both elevated. They were caught on another tree. You can see they're still, the crown's still up there. And I dropped this uh, pin oak across it, hoping to knock them down. Well, they didn't go down. They just went down a little bit. And this thing jumped up like a teeter-totter. You don't want to be standing next to the stump when something like that happens. I was back several feet. It was fun to watch. If you're standing here and that pops up, it's going to hit you right in the chin and break your neck. So, uh, yeah, don't do, don't do that. Always get away from the stump. That last step in every falling plan is escape. So always do that. Uh, just doing a quick count on those rings. That tree's about 25 years old. This uh, pecan next to it was planted in 1989. So, uh, of course, hickories and pecan is a hickory. They're slower, typically slower growing than other trees. And uh, pecan is the fastest growing hickory. But uh, so this was planted, you know, 34 years ago. That tree popped up as a volunteer 25 years ago. And it was up here pushing that pecan over and getting above it, even though the pecan had a head start. But uh, got rid of him now. And right over there, you see there's burr oak that we planted in 1990. Getting some good work in here. These pecans, we're on low ground here. It's still, I think, an upland site, but uh, it's down toward the foot of a slope. And trees are growing really well here. And you see there's another burr oak or swamp white oak. Yeah, that's a burr oak. Got another burr oak right there. So we've got a burr, pecan, burr. And what do we got behind us? There's another burr oak back there. Got a lot of nice oaks in here. Okay, back to work.